Hi, Gemini. Welcome into your reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you this wonderful Saturday morning. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. Uh, Gemini is relatively new channel also. Um, I've been just doing Taurus and Aries for a, a year now. So now I'm implementing Gemini every Saturday morning. So please tune in every Saturday morning for a Gemini reading. All right, let's see what's going on for Gemini. Situation for Gemini, please. Four of Wands. This is talking about your home, your structure, your family. Some of you guys could be leveling up in a relationship. Uh, or some of you are saving to buy a home. I mean, quite frankly. Eight, uh, but you're, you're finding it challenging, though, to save money to buy a home. That's not all of you. It's some of you. However, this is putting hard work and effort into the structure of your life, whether it's to start your own business, to, to level up in a relationship, to actually buy a home, something along those lines. You're fixing and structuring your platform of your life. Now, you're also trying to see it from a different perspective, from a different angle on how to go about this in your world. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards my Gemini, please? Page of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands and the Six of Swords in Reverse. All right, so what's coming towards you, Gemini? It looks like You're trying to figure out how to invest your time and energy in, into something. Yes, it can be a project. It can be something you want to invest your money in. Um, but it can also be a relationship or a person. Because a lot of these pentacles are showing up here, especially at the bottom of the deck too. It's telling me, oh my God, it's nothing but money. How am I not going to talk about money? <laughs> Five different pentacle cards just popped out. You're flip-flopping on something. You're wavering. You're going back and forth. And under that, it's like you're begging, borrowing, you're stealing money to do something. Um, but you might need to learn. Um, or you are in a learning phase of something, okay? It doesn't matter. If this is a new job, you're uh, upgrading. You're making more money. But you're also learning because it looks like you're an apprentice to something. Now, if this isn't, but you do have blocks, obstacles, and challenges. I mean, I have to say that, too. So you might be returning to something that you used to do or something that you had worked on in the recent past. Now, again, you can apply this to a relationship, somebody here, where it's got potential, it has growth, but you've hit a brick wall. It's gone as far as it can go. Um, so now you're reflecting on the time and energy you spent with this person and whether you should go back to them or not um, because you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. So you're challenging yourself, and these are your problems, and this is why you're waffling back and forth if you should go back to this person or not. Let's continue. Let's see what your surprise is going to be. What doesn't Gemini see coming? stuck from trying to let something end so you can have a metamorphosis a transition this is what you don't see coming death sideways you literally are challenged from letting this just completely end something to completely die off you need a transformation whether you're meant to go back to this person or not or just completely move on it doesn't matter you're holding it up you're holding on to something to not end with the jaws of life meanwhile it's gonna happen regardless Gemini because I see you being curious and excited about your path forward. You're like, oh my God, okay, it's a fresh new start. Um, I'm finally going to get rid of this. The reason it's not off your table is because you're thinking about it. You're contemplating on going back. Yeah, you're in your head. Like, look at this mishmash of this card. That's what's going on in your head right now. You're, you, you know you have to sacrifice something, and you're weighing your pros and cons. It's like you have a bittersweet situation happening here. We're going to clarify all of these and we're going to see what's happening. Um, what's the advice here for Gemini?
five of cups more fives why is the whole collective going through a bunch of fives fives is when we have the challenges of our life like we're in a tough spot we're in a bind um interesting because this is the year of seven so i feel like the whole collective is trying to understand how they're changing inside themselves like how things are you know different for them including you gemini new friends new faces new everything but you are blocking yourself from letting that actually happen you're gonna do it anyway it doesn't matter it's gonna be forced onto you but in your advice you have the two of swords and the five of cups you need to let go of the past the guilt the regret the remorse the coulda woulda shoulda the reflecting over that is bad because right now you have some serious abundance in your life and you're not seeing it because you're reflecting on something that didn't go well in the recent past but here you are torn with the two of swords i know you're torn because you have the six of swords over here you're looking to go back to something you're torn spirits like you need to make a decision and forget the past we're going to clarify this there's some things going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of anyway gemini outcome but not everything is meant to be revealed to you either and sometimes for me that's what the moon card means in the tarot not even the universe wants to expose every little thing coming your way because you could potentially harm what's meant for you for your greatest and highest good lover lover is a choice they are not your boyfriend your girlfriend they're not your husband or your wife they're a lover okay and lovers is a choice don't get me wrong there's a profound connection with a the lover there's a serious bond when there's a love connection this is always faded whether it's a reason or a season a blessing or a lesson it doesn't matter this person's never going to forget you for the rest of their life whether they end up with you or not the fool aries energy and lovers is gemini you some of you playing around with an aries doesn't have to be they just happen to be those two major arcanas together but this is you taking a risk with this lover this is you taking a leap of faith with this lover another major arcana at the bottom of the deck starting a new chapter that's why you don't see this coming even though you're fighting an ending and you're fighting something that's challenging without you even realizing you're going to have this exciting new beginning you're going to be curious again you're going to be excited and you're going to start this new chapter in your life so it's not as bad as it is i mean or that you think it's like you're reflecting on going back to someone or something but it looks like spirit's encouraging you to do new experiences new path new journey okay gemini please there's another five you guys are in the land of fives the bittersweets the fighting in your head the challenges you're overthinking something you're over analyzing something yeah some of you could be dealing with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius they don't have to be that zodiac sign but they are somebody that is very charismatic very passionate a lot of chemistry a lot of physical attraction and there's your fives another five two fives hello fives we go from ace to ten fives a smack dab in the center so this is where i give a mini tarot lesson the fives talk about the blocks the obstacles the challenges the things that and the shit that we need to get through do we fall on the other side the sixes and progress or do you fall backwards I get it you're trying to find your stability right now you're trying to be like the queen of pentacles you want stability in partnership and in love all right let's see what all these pentacles are about and the five of wands because you literally have like all the fives out the universe is giving you a second chance here um with somebody they're giving you a second go around and they're giving you some luck on your side um but spirits like make sure you know what you want make sure you're doing the right thing let me have one more because you are going back to something and you're thinking about whether you should do the new thing the two of wands 
or you know putting yourself out there putting your heart on your sleeve spirits giving you a chance they're giving you a lucky break here with somebody to go out and talk on feelings but there is some sort of unrequited love going on could be you Gemini because your heart and your mind is set on someone or something else meanwhile you got love right in front of you I don't know let's see because you're living here with some kind of regret what is death and the page of wands please the magician you're trying to manifest some love in your life yeah and seriously this is happens to be your only focus right now be, regardless of the positive and the negative these horses running forward the positive and the negative the white and the black horse represent the yin and yang you it's like your your inner light side is fighting with your inner dark side um but here you are trying to manifest this let's see what's going on here in your advice position for Gemini please spirit what is this five of cups and the two of swords please ace of swords in order for you to make this decision that you really need to make because it is kind of forcing you to make it spirits like forget the past you have abundance right now in your life you need to get to the bottom of the truth the bottom of the story ace of swords put your cards on the table talk to this person be honest be up front be above board talk to them because the lovers is showing up again if you need to know where you stand or where you're going or what's happening with this lover the best thing you can do is have a communication with this person ace of swords put your cards on the table tell them what you want what you need and if it doesn't match yours your time is not being wasted do you want it to be wasted you're afraid of rejection well the longer you wait for someone to reject you the more painful it's gonna be it's not gonna get any easier the fool and the lovers you're taking a risk towards this lover anyway so let's see what's going on here the eight of swords being stuck and trapped in your head you're looking for stability look what's coming anyway at the bottom of the deck this isn't this week it's it's incoming it's the ace of cups this is a fresh new start in love coming in a few weeks right now you feel trapped in your head trying to make a decision because you're looking for your own personal stability in a relationship here with someone so you're taking this risk with this person hoping that it'll pan out let's see what the romance angels have to say Gemini please Gemini please okay some of you guys are or have retreated and it says you deserve love so some of you might have left the situation recently because you feel like you're not getting what you need from it you know that you deserve love so you've retreated for some of you meaning you separated here and you're going to something that you know you deserve love somebody could have been mistreating you you're like why am I wasting my time over here even if you're in love with them you love yourself more I get it because you deserve love somebody here could be a karmic past life relationship let me pull a card from the twin oracle deck and see what's going on there tell me what's going on here for Gemini please going on here for Gemini please hidden path and destruction what's going on here detour sh slow down explore go in a new direction guess what guys that was your page of wands that you were challenged to do because it was covered by the death card there it is this is explore this is be curious and spirits like saying that's what you need to do you need to go on a journey you know you need to move on you need to just keep exploring what you're going through destruction 
tower moment, unexpected change, new opportunities. And this is the card that's telling you what you're not expecting is you're going to be interested in these new opportunities. Damn Skippy. Now let's get a card from the Wisdom House tonight, and that will be your reading for the week. Gemini, please. Let's see what's going on here. My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for oath. This is the symbol for all promises and a reminder to keep the one that you have made. You've made some oath either to yourself or to somebody. And you need to keep your commitments. An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time you, you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make is yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and do good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep that promise, meaning the universe. And this is why you also got the card, you deserve love. If someone hasn't been honorable with you. And now you have choices. you damn skippy, because that's what we saw in your advice position also. Every choice you, you make has a consequence. Even your thoughts are like magnets, drawing experiences to you for the good or for the bad. Do you know the story of the winged immortal in the house of night who had to choose between the dark and the light? Remember the yin and the yang that I was just talking to you about where you have a laser focus on one thing and one thing only, regardless of the good and the bad? This is what it's relating to. Do you know what he chose? Right now you're faced with such a choice. All you need to do is ask, is this for my highest good? The choice you make will be an important step in your life lesson. Remember, even not deciding is a choice. Tower moment. What will it be? Choose another card to show what your choice will bring you. We're going to look at that next week and see what your choice does bring you. Um, for now, this is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week. Please like, share, subscribe to help the channel grow for at least the Geminis.